What? All right, so welcome back to CTR. Welcome back to another episode of Vincent A. I just smashed your time. I just smashed your time. So this is the second part of my Beanox developer time trial series that's now a thing. And this is a little bit awkward because I have actually already attempted to film this episode and I lost the footage. Hence why Coco Park, Tiger Temple, Pappy's Pyramid and Dingo Canyon are already done and you haven't seen them yet. If you didn't catch the first episode, we did all of Insanity Beach and we did Gemstone Valley as well, which I would actually say probably has the two hardest times out of all of these. Crash Cove and Turbo Track seem to be the two that are giving people the most problems. So this episode, what I wanted to cover was Lost Ruins. So that's Coco Park, Tiger Temple, Papu's Pyramid, and Dingo Canyon. Not the most exciting episode in the world, but I think I am going to try and keep these episodes to maybe an area per episode since the tracks are getting longer now anyway. I can tell you that the first time round, I got Coco, Tiger, and Papu's first try... Dingo took about seven because I kept falling off the sodding track. The sodding tic-tac. And as much as I would love to just skip half of Lost Ruins, unfortunately, I have to do every track. So let's get started with Coco Park. Coco Park is a 11827 by Sebastian M. Now, I'm a simple man. I see Coco Park and I'm going that way because honestly, fuck this track. Coco Park is like that little kitten that you bring home that just looks like the most innocent, cute, nice, adorable, most harmless little animal in the world. And then you bring it into your house and it tears up all your fucking furniture. That is Coco Park in a nutshell. Let's get this started. I'm going to try and do the same thing as before where I just kind of talk through each one as I do it. I'm not going to go for the lap one. Rock, jump. I'm just going to go straight into a drift there. I'm really not interested in making this a uh, stupidly fast time. I just want to beat the ghost. And I'm not very good at Coco Park. So get those boosts. That's fine. We're just about ahead of him at the moment. I'm definitely going to go for a rock jump on lap two and three. So we're going to just jump on this rock here. Don't ask me why that works. It's just a thing. Okay, that's not too bad. Take that nice and tight. You can get a little landing boost there. I'm just going to play this so safe. I'm not even going to do uh, two hops. I just want to beat this ghost. I want to get this track over and done with. I'm not a fan. Rock jump again. All right, not bad. There we go. We should be okay now. I'll try and stretch it a little bit for this one. So one, two, three. That's better. That's how you're supposed to do it. At least that's how I think you're supposed to do it. It's going to be a 116, 117.04. Okay, that's not too bad. Well, by my standards anyway. Point is, we beat the ghost. You might be thinking to yourself, how can you hate Coco Park so much, Wolfie? It's such a simple track, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, it really looks that way, doesn't it? But it's not. It's not simple at all. The grass cuts are so fucking weird. They're so awkward. If I swear to God, if you've ever time trialed this track in your life, you know what I'm going on about. And Tiger Temple isn't much better. This is a 130.35 by Alex B. That's actually kind of quick. This is going to end up being another one where I'm cutting it close. I just don't like tracks that have these really weird grass cuts. Which kind of begs the question, how the fuck do I like Papus? Do not insult Punani's pyramid in front of me. I will not stand for such blasphemy. All right, Tiger Toilet, let's do it. Back in the roaster again, I like it. This is the same ghost that I faced on Sewer, wasn't it? I think it is anyway. So we're going to try and cut across the grass here. Had to be a little bit hesitant on that last jump. It's all going to come down to the grass cuts on lap 2 and 3. It's pretty simple to start with. We'll just take the shortcut. Just take this nice and tight on the inside. I'm going to jump off this little one here. Oh, I didn't take that tight enough. Oh. Oh, well, now we got problems. I sort of missed the... Whoops. Could I actually close this gap? Is this even doable? I completely missed the fire pad on lap one. I'm going to have to have some godlike lap three if I'm going to make this gap up. I don't even think I can, honestly. I think it's over. Oh, I hit it that time. That was fine. All right, I'm going to need the best grass cut in the history of grass cuts right now. And that was not the best grass cut in the history of grass cuts. I'm going to have to fuck's sake. Oh, so much for doing all of these first try. And do you know what? I did this first attempt the first time round. 
Why did I have to lose the footage? All right, let's try this again. Okay, so what I was actually trying to do last time was jump off this and actually go wide enough so that I can hit the fire pad. There we go. And then we're going to try and go for this grass cut here. That wasn't too bad, actually. That was almost textbook. I'm pretty sure you can do it a lot quicker than that, but that wasn't actually too bad as it goes. All right, so we're in front of him now. I'm going to take this nice and tight. Quick little U-turn off here. I don't have to worry about hitting the pad again now, so we can just stick to the inside. All right, let's try and get this right. Wasn't... Oh, come on, keep fire, keep fire, keep fire. There we go. All right, we've done it. Oh, there we go. Wasn't perfect by... No! I don't fucking believe it. I actually choked on it. Oh, I hate Lost Ruins. You know what? I think I need a swig of tea. I think that's what I'm missing. Ugh. I'm ready! That's a bit more like it. 128.75, that is my fifth best time. I'll take it. Now, we can actually start getting onto some good tracks. Punani's Pyramid is a 130.52, also by Alex B. It feels a little bit like they copy and pasted the time from Tiger Temple and just stuck it on this one. Honestly, I feel like the longer this series goes on, the more comfortable I'll start feeling. Because once we start getting to tracks like Cortex, Hot Air, Oxide Station, the CNK tracks as well. I feel much better. So I just prefer those tracks, I think. So Papu's Pyramid. I'm going to play this one kind of safe, is the word that I was going to say. That is what was going to come out of my mouth. Onto the pad. Yeah, you didn't see that. Yeah, let's jump over that, not go straight down the gap. That wouldn't be the best play. This is actually, in my opinion, one of the hardest tracks in the game. At least the time trial anyway, because the reserve management on this track is so strict. Like, you really don't get a lot of chances to build reserves up. Like, I'm playing it safe right now, and I'm still, like, having trouble with it. We should be okay now, though. Just nice and easy. There you go. There you go. Don't land on the chomper, I swear to God. There you go. We're fine. Believe it or not, you actually can go through that pillar. 125.71. Good enough. Why am I playing so bad? <laughs> right, we just got Dingus Canyon now. So Dingo Canyon is... Are these all Alex B? Oh no, I forgot the one. The Sebastian! Well, other than Coco Park, these are all Alex B times. This one's a 141... 141? I can read. It's a 13149. 131 on Dingus is actually nothing to sniff at. Let's go. Last one. So, I'm going to try and take the extended cut here. That wasn't too bad. He actually goes for it as well. I think he goes for it all three laps, actually. My man's got balls of steel gonna make sure i get a good amount of reserves this is a really awkward sort of track to do to be fair a lot of this is going to depend on uh, the armadillos a lot of it is going to depend on your mum be nice to me 
That last armadillo there is the bane of my life, I'm telling you. I get hit by that one so much. We should be okay, though. We're on decent pace. Do another little hop here. I'm just going to go straight across that. Take this nice and tight. Ish. Okay, where are they at? Okay, that's okay. You have to react to those quite quickly. It helps if you know the cycle of them. Or just kind of where they're going to be. In. I, you know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You can kind of get a quick look at them and gauge uh, whether or not you're going to get hit. We should have this one in the bag. And funnily enough, the first time around, this is the one that I had trouble with. Not this time. The armadillos have actually been nice to me. Wow. Thanks, Mum. Very kind of you, sir. Cross the line. That is a 129.12. Okay, that's not too bad. And there you go, I've now been through and done all of the Beanox times on Lost Ruins for only the second time today. And I think I'm going to wrap it up there, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know we didn't get to do very many interesting tracks this time, but hey, that changes next episode. Next time we're on Glacier Park, mate, it's about to get good. So if you're enjoying the series so far, make sure you leave a like on this video. Can we smash like? And let me know in the comments, did you have to restart as many times as I did? You all have dicks for fingers? Anyway... I'm going to go now, so thanks as always for watching, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.